What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. It's Species Sunday. How is everybody doing today? I want you all to know I'm having an epic Sunday. First Species Sunday I'm doing as a free man. Thank you, everyone who participated in the Dustin Freedom Special on Aquatic Jungles, where I took 30% off everything. If you missed that special, you can find out more about other specials on Dustin's Fish Tanks on Facebook and on Dustin's Fish Tanks on the newsletter on Aquatic Jungles and Dustin's Fish Tank. You want to check that out. I'll be doing more specials. But the species today that we got to talk about, it starts with a B, it ends with an A. I want to talk about Botias. You thought I was going to say betas, didn't you? Yeah, botillas, baby. I got a sick botilla yesterday, and I got to show you. And Steve's over here, too. Steve's a botilla. Hey, Steve. What's up? Steve, by the way, came over rocking not, rocking not one but two beers. It's a Sunday. He's chilling. His wife's at home sleeping. He's like, I got another beer in the car. I'm like, that's awesome. So he's over here. We're rocking it. I did a little work on the 125. You know, not, not bad, not too great. Botia angelicus is what we want to talk about. So we've done clown loaches and we've done coolie loaches, and now we're going to do Botia angelicus. And you I want to get your coolies out. Right oh there my, too. is he out? Yeah, nice. Out. All right, well we're going to get the the coolie loach. Oh, the pink one, nice. He is out. Hell yes. He never comes out. This dude's never out. This They're is the one. I, They're not well, this is the one I, I talked. I talked about coolie loaches. People were saying it's a different species. It's just a regular coolie with a pink body. So. He's stealing the show from the Angelicus. Wow, what's up, brother? Nice coolie loach. I've had that dude for probably three or four years. So we're going to give him attention, but we're going to roll over here to Botia Angelicus. And that guy right there, um, he was out all over the place. Really, really cool fish. Um, comes from Asia. Hang on, I got it written down. I don't want to butcher it. On the edge of the, edge of, uh, the Burmese border. And uh, near like Thailand, the Ataran River Basin, if you will. And I'm gonna head. Yeah, it's go right up ahead. there on the Where rock, man. Go? Go? It's right up on the rock. They say they like to be in schools. This is actually the second one of these guys that I've kept. I have two of them in here. This is the only one I'm I'm seeing right now. You know, I don't think that they're like a hardcore schooler. I I personally haven't seen them do any like crazy schooling. I'm trying to film this guy is not too easy. But, um, you know, they do kind of know where each other is, so that's the guy back there. Um, I really like this species because it's not as aggressive as some of the other ones. Some of you have seen the yo-yos, which have, like, the stripe. Uh, we all know the clown loaches, which get too big, in my opinion, for most tanks. Hopefully we can get them over here. Clown loaches get huge. Yeah, clown loaches just get big. So, um, a really a nice fish and a great, great, great temperament. He's gone, so I'm just going to show you the whole tank. Um, there he is. There he is. There he goes. And then he's out again. Tough to film, but, um, you know, great fish, good temperament. I like him. I first got the fish uh, back in, like, 2004, something like that, from a pet store in Pompano Beach, Florida, on Atlantic Avenue, a guy named Muggsy. If you guys ever are down in South Florida, definitely check that out. I hope he's still in business. Really cool cat. He got a bunch of cool fish in. Worth checking out. Um, and he was like, yeah, you got to check out these things. I was on a real big Botia kick. And I got one that was probably two or three inches long. And what's dope about him is he got a lot of cool personality. Now, these ones I just got yesterday, so they're obviously hiding and whatever. But um, he, they have these, like, wicked little spikes that, like, come out the top. It almost looks like they're winking, and they got this, like, spike that just sticks out, kind of like a, like a horn right above their eyes. I, I love it. So, like, I'd, like, look at him, and another fish would come by, and he just kind of, like, stick it out, like, yo, don't mess with me. There's a quarry cat schooling over there. So... Uh, very cool. They get about five inches long. I would say to keep about three or more. They only had two at the pet store, so I only bought two. They're also called a Kubotai or K-U-B-O-T-I-A, I don't know, whatever that is. But um, I like them. Their temperament's good. They're not, I had a skunk botilla one time that was really, really an ass. So uh, clown, clown loaches or, or botillas can get really aggressive too. The biggest reason to get botillas, other than they're just freaking cool, is they eat snails. If yeah. you, they'll eat, they won't eat the biggest snails in your tank, but they'll eat the small ones. They'll eat the baby snails. And they're a great fish to get rid of your snails. Now, if you're feeding them a lot of bloodworms, which is probably oh, their yeah, favorite, drop that sucker in there. Which is probably their favorite food. Uh, they won't eat a lot of snails if you overfeed them. But if you starve them for just a day or two, like give, give them a couple days. And, and, food, and we and say starve lightly here. They'll like, do yeah, fine. Yeah. They, it won't hurt them, but it'll make them eat a whole lot more snails. They'll just, instead of throwing in a bunch of bloodworms there. 
Yeah. So, uh, so clown loaches eat, eat snails really well. Angelicus eats snails. The yo-yo loaches eat snails. The coolie loaches eat snails. All the loaches eat all the loaches or botillas. They're pretty much interchangeable. Eat snails. The other thing to remember about them is they are a scaleless fish, so you got to be careful. They get ick a little worse than other fish. So just watch them. Look at them carefully. If you see a bunch of white dots on the fish at the pet store, don't buy them. Yeah, yeah, don't buy them. Don't buy them for sure. Um, or if any other fish in the tank. Right. Happened, and while while we're at it, we got the cool the uh, the botia is not living up to his uh, his height. But I gotta share this fish that I caught with my own two bare hands. This big old Cory cat up in here, straight right. from the Amazon. Straight up, you guys can see him back in there. Just a big old moose of a boy. He's been coming out a lot more now that I got the uh, open space there. Oh, come back this way, dude. He's just mowing on some uh, some bloodworms. So really pumped to have him in the tank and like out and about. He's just been. Uh, you know, eating on it, schooling with the boys. So pumped about that. Pumped to be playing in here. Pumped to be doing this on a Sunday for you all. Hope everyone's having just a great weekend. I'm having an awesome time. Steve's coming over here, making it even more epic. So we're having a blast. Um, you know, welcome new subscribers. I'm going to be throwing down some special stuff for the uh, 20,000 subscribers. I think that's kind of a cool little mark. So we're having some fun with that. And uh, look, I hope everyone's just having an awesome weekend. So. I'm going to split, probably have a beer with Steve here in a little bit, but everyone make it an awesome week, and tank on, people. Later.